I was able to make a complete website with just HTML and pure CSS and I got paid for it. No JavaScript, no backend, just the pure structure and style. I know what some of you are already thinking. Wait, how is this possible? That's exactly what I want to show you in this video and in the entire series. Because I know many of you are just starting. You've just learned HTML and you are just getting a hang on CSS. And you are thinking, I need to learn and master backend and JavaScript before I can start making money with programming. That shouldn't be the case. You can start monetizing your HTML and your CSS skills right now. And I'm going to show you how. You don't have to wait to master all the entire stack before you start making money. You can start where you are right now and start making money as you grow. And look, I was able to do it and then you can do it yourself. Over the years, I've built applications and websites for businesses. And here's something I noticed. Almost all the websites I've created, almost all of them, I'm not saying all of them, but almost 90% of all the websites I've created for businesses have zero JavaScript. Yes, zero JavaScript. I didn't write a single line of JavaScript code, but then I was able to sell those websites for businesses. You've probably heard people say things like, you need fancy animations, you must have dynamic functionality. You can't build a modern site without JavaScript. And I'm here to tell you with full confidence that it is possible and I've did it. And then you can also do it for yourself. And it's not only possible, it's more common than you think. A lot of people are out there and they are creating websites for businesses with zero JavaScript knowledge and they are earning from it. Why can't you do it? There's a high demand for a clean and a mobile friendly website that communicates a brand identity out there. So what the businesses are looking for is for you to be able to communicate their brand identity and for your website to be able to support on mobile phone. And you can pretty do this with HTML and CSS without JavaScript. You know what is keeping you stuck from making money? You are actually doubting yourself. That is all. You are doubting your skills and it's imposter syndrome. And you need to stop doubting yourself and you need to start taking the action. I don't care whether it's only HTML you've just started learning. Start learning CSS and start monetizing your skill right now. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can create such website, the features you need to include to start earning from such website with zero JavaScript. You just need the right mindset, the right guidance, and a bit of courage to start. Stick with me because I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and how you can also start implementing and start creating something for yourself. So first, let me put on my glass. Oh my God. Okay, now we can start. Before we start diving into the how of building a website, we need a business. So let's start with how to actually get a business. I know you might be wondering, where do I get a business to build a website for? The answer is simpler than you think. Just use your Google Maps. Most businesses around you, around your location, don't have websites. Most of them, they just don't have websites. You'll be amazed how many businesses are still not online and that's a great opportunity for you, especially if you are in a rural area, if you are in an area that is not developed a lot. And here's the worst advice people give you out there. Call email. Never send a call email to a business. That's just a red flag. It shows that you are desperate and it shows that you are not professional. So don't go out there and start typing emails and sending to businesses. That is unprofessional to do. You need a plan. And here's what I do. I always start by creating my pre-made websites templates so this way the work is very fast for you let's create pre-made website templates and leave them over there number two you start by customizing the templates for the businesses you are targeting you can put their brand colors you can put their logos just make sure that after you go to your google maps and after you get the businesses that don't have websites use the templates you've just created and create simple websites for them and just put their logo their brand colors you don't need to create a full website just create a, a landing page that's what you need just a simple landing page for them number three don't just email them go and visit them in person and i know a lot of people will go like oh i cannot approach a business i'm like an introvert and this is where you need someone to handle that for you i always say this if you cannot go and approach your business yourself find a friend or find someone that can approach the businesses and just handle that site for you so that you don't need to go out there and approach the businesses. You need to get the businesses their names and give it to the person. The person will approach them and handle that site for you. And you can have a presentation you give to the person. Number four, making your pitch. Here is where your authority and empathy comes to play. Tell them this. I've noticed that your competitors have websites and yours doesn't. 
In today's world, not having a website is a recipe for disaster for your business. Potential customers are looking for you online and if they can't find you, they will find someone else. Just look at how simple the pitch is. This is a simple pitch you can make to them. You tell them that their customers are doing it. Their customers have websites and their customers are progressing. And if they don't act fast, their competitors will be ahead of them. And every business don't want that. They want to be ahead of their competitors. So they will listen to you. Don't go out there and start telling them about how good your website is. They don't really care. They don't really care how good your website is. What they care is that your website can help solve their problem. You show them that you care about their business. Once you go out there, you don't show empathy for them, then they will not listen for you. They will not listen to anything you are saying. They will only listen to you if you care about their business. So if you go out there, try to target their business pinpoint and how your website can help boost their business. Nobody wants to lose customers just because they are not online. And once you show them that their competitors already have a website and they are already online, you have already opened their eyes and they are ready to listen to you. But listen, when you are going to approach a business, presentation matters. Don't just show up there with a hoodie or don't just show up there looking like you are there to chill. You are a professional offering a service and your presentation, your first impression can really make or break the deal. So your first impression really matters. So make sure to dress well. You don't need a suit and a tie, just something that is simple and clean for you to just wear and make yourself presentable. The goal is to make yourself trustworthy and to make them know that you know what you are doing. Because if you look like you are serious about your work, then they will take your work seriously too. And I know most of you will say that I'm shy. Like I said before, I completely validated. There's nothing wrong with you being shy. Not everybody is built to go on face to face marketing with people. Not everybody have that skill. Here's what I do in that situation. If I know someone that is more connected, I tell them, if you get me a client, I will give you a percentage of the money I make from the deal. So this way, the person will be motivated to get you clients. And this is a win-win situation. Leverage your strength and delegate the parts you are weak to other people to handle for you. And that's just the recipe for success. I have noticed that all businesses want these two solutions. They either want one of these solutions or the two of them. One is that they want clients or customers. Two is that they want to sell something. And some of you may go like, how do I handle these situations with no JavaScript? Let me show you how. They say, for example, you are talking to a business that take appointments like a mechanic shop or a dental clinic. Here's what you tell them and here's how you design the website. Here's what you do. You can go and create a Google Meet appointment page. So this way, Google will just give you a link. Once someone visits on the link, you specify the days and the time you want your appointments to be so that the person can just come to the page, select the appointments and book an appointment with you. So you just create that page and then you just create your HTML page, put a button, then you can put book now. Then you paste the link there so that once the user just visit their website, click on the book now to just send them straight to the page so that Google will handle the distance, the appointments for you you don't need to be handling appointments on the website. You just have the Google Meets link posted there. Then when the users click on the link, they will just go to Google and Google will handle the meeting for them. This way, if they are a company that handle appointments, after you are done and they already accept your page, what you do is you just go to them. Once you create the whole website, put the book appointment, just put the book now button so that you create the Google Meet schedule link with their email and that you can put the link on the website so that if the user just book an appointment google will send an email to them notifying them for the appointment and then they can handle the meeting and everything at their site and you don't have to do anything if the business want to sell products and then you want to make this process simple for them here's what you can do you can just hard code the products just the products that they have some businesses they don't have a lot of products you can just hard code the products and then you put a button over there if someone want to order once they click on the button their email will be open the email of the business will just be open so that the person can handle the order with email and then the business will handle the payments and everything themselves at their side and you don't have to interfere with anything so what basically you are doing is just trying to connect them with their customers and nothing else. You are not handling any payments. You are not handling anything. You are just trying to connect them with their customers and nothing else. Once you finally secure your first deal, here's something that comes in and that is imposter syndrome. The feeling of, am I good enough? 
What if they don't like this website? I'm just a beginner. Listen, that feeling is normal. We all go through it and it's part of growth. You'll be building the website and then your mind will be whispering to you. You are not an expert. They are not going to like this. Business owners don't care about your code. They don't care whether you use JavaScript, Next.js or whether you use Angular to create their website. They don't really care. They don't care whether the CSS is perfect or not. What they care is that the website is solving their business problem. You want to make sure that it's solving their business problem and nothing else. They don't care about the design and anything. Can their customers find them online? Can people book appointments easily? Can someone message them to buy a product? If the answer is yes, then they are happy. They are not checking if your layout is pixel perfect. They just want result and nothing else. So don't overthink the process. Focus on solving the business problem and everything will follow. And that's all that matters. And it is something I've learned from my experience. Most of the time, we create something ourselves and we don't like it. And when we show it to other people, they love it. Because they are not judging it as developers. They are looking at the value it can bring to their business. So stop doubting yourself. You are better than you think. Just finish the project, present it with confidence, and let the project speak for itself. This method is easy for businesses that just want to be visible and nothing else. It saves you time, save the business with money, and still get the job done. You can also learn skills like running advertisement so that you can just run Facebook ads. It's just simple. Within 5-10 minutes, you can run a Facebook ad for them and just get them customers to book or to buy their products and nothing else. So if you are just starting out, this is how you provide value with just HTML and CSS. Most of you want to upgrade and learn how to create standard applications. Well, I have founded Antify. It is a software I've created myself. I've created the whole software myself and I've had experience in the development industry. So I've learned that most of you want to learn how to create your own standard applications and web apps. So I've put together a front-end course for you, just a front-end course for you. And I've realized that there are a lot of courses out there, but those courses, they are not synthesized. And what I mean is that they are teaching a lot of unnecessary stuff. Well, what I've did is I've made my course simple and short and I've synthesized all of the important things you need to learn. And I've filtered out anything that is not important. So that it will be a simple course for you and i promise once you take the whole course you'll be able to become an intermediate front-end developer i'm not promising you to be a master i said intermediate you cannot become a master by taking a course no it's not possible you become a master once you start creating your own applications and your own software and i've made the course super low for you the price is just super low and i'll leave a link below for you to check out the course if you want to upgrade your skills and take this to the next level. So make sure to check out the course and I can't wait to teach you how to create and launch your own successful web applications online. And always remember, every expert was once a beginner. And as always, let's create something great together. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.